Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSE ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about the form tag and for form tag, we have different attributes and under form tag, we have some other sub tags also. So, this is a very complex topic. So, in this, we will discuss some sub tags of form tags and some attributes of form tag and in the next video, we will also discuss, we will continue this topic. So, particularly in this presentation, we are going to discuss about the form tag, the syntax of form tag. Under this form tag, we are using a sub tag called input tag. So, in input tag, we have different options to give password, text field, or uh, date of birth or number field. So, like that, we will see what is input tag and what are the options possible with the input tag. And we have different form attributes like uh, if you want to make the uh, text field as mandatory, then we have required attribute. So, if you want to do some such a type of operations, we have some attributes. So, that also we will discuss in this video and we will also see examples for all these topics. So, first of all, form tag. So, what is the use of form tag? Generally, we, we, we fill so many applications like it may be feedback form, it may be like registration form, application form. Whenever you go to hospital, you will fill some application form. So, after completing the FDP or any session, they used to give some feedback form, right? So, all those forms you can create using this form tag. So, in this form tag, what are the different elements we can use? So, the first one is input. So, if you want to provide some input, the input may be anything. It may be a text, it may be a password, it may be a like checkbox. Uh, for example, I have some application where I want some username, uname and some password and I need to give the gender. So, for gender, I am using radio buttons. So, male, female, others and I am also giving languages now. So, the users may know multiple languages. So, for that purpose, I am using some um, check boxes. So, this is English, Hindi, Telugu, like that. Right. And followed by one submit button. Right. So, here we have so many elements. So, this complete thing, I can call it as a form. So, this is a label. This is a label this is a label and this is also a label and now coming to these two are text fields these three are radio buttons and these three are text fields and this is a button so to create all these so for all these things it is taking some input it is expecting some input so these all components you can create using the input tag and next is text area for example uh, we want to write something about one website. I have visited one website. I want to give some feedback about that website. So, obviously, it will be in the form of 50 words or 500 words, something like that. So, I cannot use a text field there. So, text field in the sense, it will talk only a single line of text and limited content. But here in text area, we will create a text area box which will contain the scroll bar also. So, we can give some limits here. How many rows we can insert, how many columns we can insert here. Like that, we can give at the time of creation. So, here you can write the content. So, the uh, initial size you will give, but also you can extend the size. Whenever you write more than the given size, automatically the scroll bar will be enabled. So, next is button tag. If you want to create a button, of course, we can use the input tag or else we also can use the button tag. So, next is select. Select uh, command or select tag is used to create a drop down list. So, if I click on this drop down, it will give you the list of items and option tag. So, select tag is used to only create the drop down list. But how to add the items into the drop down list? For example, I want to select my country. Then here it will display the different country names. So, India, China, US, like that it will show. So, each thing, each country is considered as a option here. So, first you need to create the selection list. That means drop down list using select tag and how to add options to that selection list using option tag. And next is field set. So, using field set, you can differentiate the application into different groups. For example, I am filling some personal details. So, I can create a box for the personal details where it will take the username, password, uh, gender and all those things. And I am creating one more box 
and I need to na name this as educational details. So, where you perceived your SSC, uh, inter and what is your percentage, all those things you are you are giving, you are writing in a separate box and this box, box name I should give it as a education and this one I should give it as a personal. So, like that you can differentiate the things in your form using field set. And label we know in the previous example we discussed if you want to give some the name of the text field or name of the uh, some input field then you can use the label. So, first of all we will discuss input tag. So, in the input tag we can give anything that may be a text box that may be a uh, check box that may be a radio button that may be a text area based on your requirement input tag will be used with different options. So, the first one is input type button. So, if I give input type as a button, a button will be created, a clickable button. So, I can able to click on that. So, if I click on that, what should happen? So, that we cannot do only using HTML for that you are going with the JavaScript. Later on, we can discuss that. And next one input type is equal to checkbox. If I create, if I write the statement like this, a checkbox will be created. And next is input type is equal to date. If you want to enter some date, for example, in your application, you are asking for date of birth. There I need to give the uh, date. So, if you create a date, so something, I mean, if I use input type as date, something it will create like this. So, here it will show the calendar. So, if I click on this, the calendar will be displayed with the current date. You can move uh, forward or backward based on the requirement. And next is input type is equal to email. If I give input type as email, it will simply generate a text field only, but it will expect one email ID from the user. That means, it should contain at the rate followed by something. So, if you do not provide a valid email ID, I mean, uh, if, if your uh, value does not contain this at the rate symbol, it will give you the uh, message, warning message over there. And next input type is equal to number. If I give input type as number, then it will accept only numbers. But if I give input type as text, it will also accept the text. So, generally if you ask for age uh, or if you ask your uh, phone number or salary, then you can go with the number type. And next is input type is equal to password. So, if I use the type as password, whatever the value you are entering that will be invisible that will be displayed in terms of dots or stars and next input type is equal to radio if i use radio it will create a radio button and the difference between the checkbox and the radio button is checkbox means you can select multiple options at a time but radio button means you should able to select only one option at a time for example the language is no the person may know multiple languages at a time. At that case, I should choose the checkbox. But if you are asking for gender, so if he, if he is a male, he cannot opt for female and male both. So, then in that case, you need to choose the radio button. So, next is input type is equal to reset. So, this is also one type of button. If you use reset, then a button will be created. If I click on that button, all the fields which you have entered that will be disabled, disabled in the sense erased. So, next is input type is equal to submit. So, it is just similar to input type is equal to button only. So, both will create the buttons only. But if I create input type is equal to submit, it is a submit button. The purpose of the uh, button is to submit the details, but sometimes we can use the buttons for go back, go next like that also. In that case, you need to use the type as button. The last one input type is equal to text. If you want to take some text from the user like name, username, uh, not username, username generally it will be email id, right? So, first name, last name, father's name, mother's name. So, like that, then you can go with the input type is equal to text. So, this is a simple example which covered uh, all the commands, all the tags which we discussed now. So, the first one, this is an application form, basic application form. So, instead of label, I am simply giving the name. So, to display this name, you can also use the label tag. But instead of using label tag, I am directly giving the name here. So, name colon, it is asking name from the user. So, I need to create a text box. So, what is the syntax you are using? Input type is equal to text. So, it will create a text box which will accept both the numbers and text at a time. 
that means sometimes your email id may contain the numbers also some characters also some special symbols also right in that case it will be uh, taken as type as text so what it will create it will create a text field and next line you are coming to the next line why because you are using a break tag here next line what you are displaying password it is a label to take the password from the user you are using input type is equal to password so it will also create the text field only but whatever you type in the text field that will not be visible i mean directly visible so it will be uh, uh, displayed as a stars or dots and you are coming to the next line again you are printing email id so you are typing email id that's why you are taking the input type as email so here also same thing it will create a text field only where it will accept expect a email id from the user email id in the sense it should be it should follow the proper rules it should contain at the rate symbol and so on all those rules it will follow and you are coming to the next line and you are asking for the phone number if you are asking for the phone number then you need to use the type as a number type then come to the next line and then you are asking for the date of birth so in the date of birth you need to take a date from the user so that's why you are giving the type as date so here it will create a text field not exactly text field so it will be appeared like this it will show the calendar here if i click on this it will show the current date so from that you can move back or move forward and you coming to next line and you are asking for the gender so for gender you need to give the three options and three options should be radio buttons only as i discussed now uh, gender means the person should able to opt only one option he should be able to select only one option for that purpose i am using radio button so input type is equal to radio and here one rule we need to follow so at a time he should be able to choose only one option so that's why i am grouping all these items into a group so for that group i should give a name so the name i am giving as gender for example i have something else another group here also i have three items and the group name is different that means in this group you have three items but in single group you can select only one item at a time that means you need to group them first if if you want them to work as a radio button so if you don't use this name as gender here then it will not work as a radio button that means i will be able to select multiple options at a time if you don't group them it will not work as a radio button so you have to give a common name for all the radio buttons then only you can select one option at a time so the name for all these three buttons i am giving the name as gender only the first value is male second value is female and the third value is transgender so like that i am creating three radio buttons here but i am giving a common name for all these three radio buttons if you give a common name then only it will be work it will work as a radio button otherwise it will not work i'll show you the execution by removing that name also so next you are coming to uh, you are coming to the next line and you are writing language is known so what are the languages known by the user here the user should be able to select the multiple options so that's why you're not using radio button instead of that you're using checkbox so input type is equal to checkbox and here if you observe the name the first name i'm giving as english second name telugu and third name is hindi but in the previous case radio button i have given the common name for all the three radio buttons but here i'm not giving like that if i give the same name again here also the same problem will occur that's why you should give this different names for check boxes why because you should allow the user to select the multiple options if i give the name as same name it will work as a radio button again so the value first value is english second value is telugu and third value is hindi then after that you coming to the next line you are creating two buttons here the first button is for reset and the second button is for submit so this is submit if i click on reset button the values will be erased which you have entered in the text fields but coming to the submit i'm not taking any action here so that's why it will not print anything so these are the different attributes you are using uh, in the form tag 
So before going to this, we'll try to execute this. So I'm just saving this. So if I check the output, so this is the output I'm getting. So name, I need to enter some name. Then password, I'm entering something, but the password, it is not showing the actual text. And coming to email ID, I'm just entering only Soumya. See here, I'm getting a warning message over there. Please include an at the rate in the email address Soumya is missing at the rate. So here, you can check. Right. So here you can see now, please include at the rate in the email address. Why? Because I have given the type as at the rate, sorry, email. So that's why it is expecting at the rate symbol. Next phone number, you can give any number. So it will not check the validity of the number. So it will only take the number and date of birth. So it is showing the calendar. You can check the any date. You can go back or forward and coming to the gender female I'm selecting and now if I want to select male the female will be disabled by because I have given a common group name for all these so that's why I'm able to select only one option at a time and coming to the languages so I'm just selecting all the options but it is allowing also why because it is a checkbox and now if I click on submit see uh, the previous thing I'm getting why because I'm not taking any action here if I submit that details but coming to the reset for example see here I'm doing something I'm writing something and if I click on reset all the details will be erased which you have entered so that is the thing now we will just remove the group name here for radio buttons so name I'm removing For radio buttons and then I'm saving now if I refresh it and I'm writing something and I'm selecting male and female also see if you observe I'm able to select male and female and transgender also at a time why because I have removed that group name So that is the problem with the group name. I mean, that is the advantage of group name in the radio button. Whenever you create a radio button, you need to give a common group name for all the radio buttons. So next, uh, so in the program, in the previous program, we didn't get any proper output over there. Why? Because we are not redirecting this application to any way. For example, uh, I want to get a proper message after submitting all these details then you need to add action attribute with the form tag. So the syntax for form tag is form action is equal to you need to write some page where you want to redirect this program to. For example, after submitting I want to redirect this page to some back server backend server so generally backend server we are using php program so i'm writing abc dot php and i should also use another attribute called method so this method we have two options here one is get or post you can use any of these two options at a time so action in the sense whatever you're writing uh, the file name you're writing whenever you click on submit it will be redirected to that page and method in the sense how these uh, details will be transferred using get in the sense it is not so secure get method is not so secure why because whatever the details you are sending to the backend that will not be uh, encrypted as it is it will be sent but coming to the post method whenever this details from html form to php program you are sending your details whenever you click on submit but if i use get Whatever the details are there, Soumya is there, Soumya at the rate, gmail.com is there, my phone number is there, everything, all personal details are there. So that will be visible to every user. Why? Because those details are not encrypted. 
but coming to post if i use the method as post whatever the details you have filled all those will be encrypted first and that will be sent to the php not only php here you can give any file name for example i want to give a text file name so abc.txt so what abc.txt is containing simple message submitted successfully like that also you can give so that one i'll show you next so this is the actual syntax of form tag it will take two attributes one is action and the other one is method so action what action will do whenever you click on submit what action it needs to take uh, whether it wants to redirect to some other page or whether you need to submit these details to the server like that you can write using action and coming to the method how you are transferring this details so using get method or post method but the default option is get only so these are the different attributes we are using in the form so one is checked for example um, in some web forms the default option already they will check i mean if you want change it later you can change for example uh, i'm applying for a call center job there the english language is mandatory you should know the english language then they will ask for the languages known so here i have three check boxes one is english uh, hindi and something like telugu then they already check this english why because it's mandatory so that's why initially whenever you open the application form by default that will be checked only so at that case you need to use the attribute called checked and what is the value checked only yes checked means it is checked by default whenever you open the application already it is checked and coming to the name so just now we have seen the name name attribute along with the input tag so you can give a common name you can give a, a group name for the radio buttons so not only for the radio buttons for text field or for password field for phone number field for any field you can give a name the name will be in the form of any text you can give any name for that particular field and coming to read only and we have some fields so that is only read only read only fields that means you cannot edit that you cannot uh, you cannot edit that or you cannot uh, modify that so that is nothing but read only and next is required so just now we have seen without filling all the details i simply submitted the form but in most of the applications all the fields are mandatory so simply they will keep some asterisk star over there but if i try to click on submit i'll get the details like the so and so field is mandatory if you fill that form then only you will be able to submit so how to do that you can make your field as required that is mandatory if you make your field as required so that is mandatory if you don't fill that field you'll not be able to submit and next next is value so if you want to display some initial value in that field for example i have created a text field if you want to display some initial value over there then you can use this value so here i have used some uh, required required field and some checked field here right so here i'm creating check box for english by default i have given the option as checked this is a similar i mean previous program only i simply added required for the text field password field email field number field and by default the english language has been checked so simply we'll check the output for this so this is the output so by default the english language has chosen why because i have given the uh, option over there as checked and now uh, without filling all these details i'm trying to submit then here i'm getting a notification please fill out this field okay i'm filling this field and now i'm trying to submit again it is asking password why because password also i made it as mandatory that is required so i'm writing password then email id also i made it as mandatory and phone number also mandatory i wrote now these fields i didn't made it as mandatory now i'm trying to click on submit yes it is submitting so now if i submit this it should go somewhere uh, for example <coughs> action is equal to so whenever you click on your application submit button 
it should go to abc.txt. But what is abc.txt? We don't have the any abc.txt. So I am just writing submitted successfully. So this is abc.txt. I will save this abc.txt. Now, now I am just filling my details. Now I am simply submitting. If I submit, I am just getting a message submitted successfully. Previously, I was not getting this message. Why? Because in the form, I did not add any action over there. But here in this program, I have added an attribute called action. So, whenever you click on submit button, where it is redirecting? It is redirecting to abc.txt. But generally, it will not be txt file, it will be php file that is a server side programming which will validate your details. So, you are giving some name, your password and your date of birth, all those things. It will validate if it is correct and it will save these details in the database. So, in this session, we discussed about the form tag and the different attributes of form tags and we have also seen the input tag. In input tag, there are multiple options possible like it may be text, it may be password, it may be date or number and we have seen different options with the input tag and also examples. Thank you.